Yes, hello, good evening, and welcome to the stream. Do we even have transcoding yet? Uh, not sure. Uh, yay, not sure. We've also got lots of echo. Well done. Eighteen fifty nine, Zeon Shrimp, ready for stream with the beer glass. Followed by <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> uh dear. Apparently my, my computer my AO wasn't, it just crashed straight away. No idea. Anyway, we're back. Let's go to the live screen. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, I think I had dailies from last time that we never got done because reasons. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, do I want to get a bunch of buffs? Um, I think we're all right, you know. I think we're all right. Let's go straight for pick up a doja. The um, daily rewards has gone back to the normal one, has it? It's like, that didn't last long. That was like, was that two weeks? Didn't feel like two weeks. Kind of weird. You know, we went we went from whenever to, to that really, really quickly. It just felt too quick for me. Dragon All, welcome to the ship. Is Rubicar 2019 worth it? Depends, is the answer. Um, I don't play on it very often at all um and neither does anybody else is is the most honest thing i can say about it. it is very quiet on that server versus um the main rk5 server very quiet um far less uh, players there actively playing uh the player base that is there other than the Iron Man uh, sort of things that go on there, which might be good um, if that's your if that's your thing, they um, the the people that are there are quite high level and all sort of band together because <laughs> there's not many of them probably. Uh, in the early uh, sort of days of that server, it was pretty good actually have to say it wasn't bad at all but that's because it was busy and everybody was the same level so it was kind of fun and uh, nowadays not quite so much i mean it's, it's not dead but yeah you, you can you can be there for a while before you see anybody you know ITO Derry subscribe with Prime. They've subscribed 12 months. Good gravy. Thank you very much for the resub and the 12 months. Much appreciated. It's very, very cool. <laughs> First kill, Doja. Yay! That's the kind we like. And a bunch of shadow knowledge to recoup, because I died a bazillion times last time I logged in. But of course I did. Because <laughs> it was Monsters of Ages, which is, um, which, which was um, like a big arc led event with many, many, lots of every mob ever. So it was quite cool, I have to say. Right, I need to do social media and I haven't done any yet. <sighs> need to do that, otherwise nobody will know. <laughs> so, or I'll be relying on Twitch's alert system only, which let's face it 
is a bit rubbish, let's say. NT note. Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. How the devil are you? Yeah, the 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 feedback I get from people is I check your schedule because Twitch never tells me. I don't get why. How can it really hurt their business model to alert people that have followed and subscribed to channels that you're following and subscribing? Yeah, it's, 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 why? Why you do this? <laughs> it, it doesn't make a great deal of sense. I just ate pizza, so I'd say quite happy. Thanks for asking. Nice. There you go. Four cheese. How are you? I'm okay. I'm watching the resignation counter currently going on in our parliament. It's a big, bloody, great big circus. Lauren War is no longer immortal. All oh, right, so the login rewards have gone, but the events are still live. That's weird. I'm wondering if that's a glitch caused by the Arbiter's cycle, maybe. If Lauren War is still spawning, and I'm assuming so, because I just saw the message for Lauren War. Ah, I wonder. What have they broken this time? That <laughs> is the question. Four cheese, yeah. One I, the one I have has got like chicken, uh, chilies, or all sorts on it. It's basically the Bay Grill special. I always get it because it's like it really is gorgeous <laughs> it's so nice let's just check the arbiter very quickly i don't know if there's any point in going to lauren moore will the corpse at the chest will might have vanished by the time i actually get there but let, let's go and have a look and let's go see because the chest is only down for a couple of minutes isn't it it's not there for very long we must the investigations do yeah yes indeed We'll soon know if we get tons and tons of lag trying to get there. Yeah, I thought it had all finished because when I logged in... Um, I'm not sure I did it on this thing. No, I didn't put a hotkey in for it. The hell with the fog? That's new. It looks like people are here. Got the panda head. Yeah, I got it at the um, Mon Monsters of Ages arc do. Yep, there's the crate. Oh, we've got a birthday thingy. From which I get... Agent action figure. Oh, well. 
<laughs> Feels kind of like. And the lag. Daylight! Hello from 160p land. Hello! No, I still haven't got the clippers out. I need to, though. Definitely, definitely need to. I think my camera colour's gone a bit wonky again. It keeps doing that. It's rather annoying. I think I can fix it. Place every bulb with seven 20 Kelvin bulbs. Or two 70 Kelvin, but there we go. I look human again and my Les Paul. I can always tell because the Les Paul looks wrong. Or the white gem doesn't look white it's suddenly like why is it blue so i don't know i think it tries its best it doesn't do a terrible job i've seen worse why have i got all this fog i don't normally have fog not like that anyway eh. don't know Yeah, it feels like the view distance isn't all the way out. Fog mode. Off. Simple. Normal. Auto detect. <laughs> Let's leave it on then. It's decided that should be how it looks. Yeah, go back to the live screen. There we go. It's kind of doing Morrowind fog there. You know, everything that's beyond 20 metres away is just grey mist. Kebab and hollandaise is tasty on pizza as well. I mean, I'm going to look up what's on the pizza I normally get. Da -da -da. It's like a Greek or Turkish place. Um, oh, there we go. That's what I normally have. There you go. Onions, mushrooms, ham, sweet corn, spicy chicken and pepper army. It's super yum. Obviously, cheese. But yeah. It just tastes so damn nice. I have not seen this sort of fog in a very long time. Never mind. Can't have enough cheese on pizza, yes. I, I have to agree with you there. The cheese on the pizza is a thing. Right, let's check the Arbiter. He normally wouldn't be up. So the world bosses are spawning, but the login rewards of reset to normal got fog here as well how is it's gone or sort of gone i don't think the arbiter's up there this would normally be a null week for him i think We've got Ralph and... Uh, yeah, no Arbiter. Okay. So yeah, I should have I should have logged in on Sunday, but I didn't. So this is the first uh, logging in since the ARC event on Saturday. And there is an event this Saturday again, I am reliably told, for more aliens. Right, research. I'd nearly finished Apotheosis 4, and I, I can't remember why I really wanted it, but I did. 
So, <laughs> I, I had something in my mind that I need it, you know. So we'll go hand this doger in. They always crowded today. It's fairly busy, you know, given given its age and everything else, and all the people going, "Oh, it's a dead game." The you know the, that that crowd. It's a dead game. Well, I don't think it is, and I think a lot of people communicate inside the game far more than modern ones. Every modern MMO I've seen, there's very little communication goes on. So, you know. Because there's no need. Auto team and event finder, auto boss team finder. You know, it's it's very... Well, very same-ish. You know, there's no... It doesn't have the same sense of community, I would say. Um, so rather than having to get to know people, make friends, and you know, and all the rest of it. So yeah, I waited a week to do this, Lysy. What's Lysy? You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Lysy has reached enlightenment. Congratulations. <laughs> I thought Lysy was an abbreviation of a game. I was thinking, Lord, no. <laughs> I Theodore Lysy, you actually did it, dear Lysy. I sal salute you for your determination and sheer awesomeness. Congratulations to our newest level 220 member. Oh, is that your Guildbot message? Nice. Lady Sky Cannon, welcome to the stream. How you doing, Heather? You all right? Goodbye. Yeah, I need to do Hodor raids soonish. Okay, so that's Apotheosis 4 done. So that's given me a bunch of comp lit, strength abilities, um, healing efficiency and something, a bunch of evades. So the next one, no. Add all death, deflect. Okay. Um, evades next, and then I think there's six is as far as we can go from more base abilities. Core scope, Callus 2, evening master. Master? <laughs> okay. No clue from where the message comes. Was it a tell? Usually tells you who the tell is from. IGNCOM15, that's some bot that you're registered to then. That's a raid bot, IGNCOM. I've heard of them. I think I've been in their raid group before now. I don't regularly join it, but yeah, pretty sure. I'm all good. Thanks, Cal. Just dusted off my keeper and got it to pen. Nice. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Soloing on Keeper with a few outside buffs is uh, its quite cool, actually. I think, speaking of outside buffs, I think I'm going to give myself some of those. Yes, I am. Time for some bump lo logging. Once my trader is high enough, I thought about going for Apotheos Apoth 6 first. Got everything else around 6, 7. Yeah, you can always catch up on research. You get loads of research on um, the event, alien events. You still get research from the XP pulses on that um, versus, um, you know, XP kind of thing. And then when it moves to Shadowlands, you, you kind of get both SK and, and that. Right, I think... Um, Let's try and get two two for one deal here. A path has two requirements for each level: a, a specific AI level, um, and also a a, a 
SK uh, regular level. Got a horrible feeling. I'm on a. I am on a hundred percent research. Uh, ain't a light. Blue a daily's worth of XP. Oh well. <laughs> Done now. Okay. Right. And logging in. Log in on the soldier. Give myself RRFE and then jump off quick. Log in again, give myself PNH and cost if I can. What do you playing? I am playing uh, the trader, but I'm buffing the trader with other other tunes of mine by bump logging. Oh damn, he's nowhere near. Oh well. Yeah, these are the the regular. Hang on. Yeah, regular login rewards. Looking at these, I think. Or someone said they were the regular ones. I don't know. Is the Desert Rider due soon? The Desert Rider's been and gone. Looking at the ground is covered in nomads. How many items have you got so far? I have six items. Right. <laughs> so we just missed it, in other words. Oh, well. Those have been the birthday you had there. It looked like it, didn't it? Yeah. I did create a... Um, you can reopen them. Let me check that again. Uh, F10, key bindings. If you go all the way down, you come to... Daily login. Control shift D. Yeah, I did. Yeah, these are the celebration ones, aren't they? Because you've got that the clown mask and everything else. The very creepy clown mask. It's very cool. It's high res and everything. So. Yeah, this guy I last logged on just to pick up the nomad armor, which I'm going to sort out now while I've got him logged in. Yeah, I saw Lauren, I saw Lauren is no longer immortal spam up on the screen. So I was like, ah. Because on, on the Discord I was reading and people were saying stuff like, um, oh, it's not anymore kind of thing. Like, it, it's finished today. The logins have gone back to normal. I was like, have they? Didn't know, you know, kind of like, really? You know, one of those. Right, let's fill my overflow. You need at least 10 inventory spots. Oh, oh God. Right, let's try and make 10 inventory spots then. Because <laughs> I kind of want to open all that before. Uh, and sort out the sleeves from it, etc. Then I'll buff the trader again and get on with the other dailies. We got there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually want any other parts apart from the shoulders. There you go. Twenty three to cents and agility on each one. Which is kind of epic. That's why I wanted that armor. The helmet as well. Intelligence and psychic for 25. So that's going to stay. Sleeves, stamina and strength. Don't really need to worry about on Atrox. I have Geefcake Manic Fixer. <laughs> He's fully dressed. What's going on? There's some sort of weirdness occurring. He has all his clothes on. 
<laughs> uh, I'm going to put these in here, I think. Elite Desert Nomad Cloak. Does that look better? What do we think? That or... I think the Awakened Bok looks better, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's cool. It's got light, blue lights on the back. Elite, the case is a lie. The case is a lie. The cake is a lie. Yeah, it's a, it's a famous line from um, Portal, isn't it? Except if you watch the end credits at the very end, there is a cake. It's like a, a chocolate gato cake with a cherry on top. <laughs> A neuronal stimulator. Right, so he's back at base. Yeah, I'm sure those are the birthday ones. So it was somebody on the Discord earlier on today. I, I looked and they said, you know, the um, the rewards have gone back. Nobody said, no, they haven't. Oh, there you go. Andy, claims should be fixed as of about an hour ago. Is it not showing up, folks? I'm not the biggest fan of immobilization, immolation or preforation. Okay. <laughs> yes, it broke earlier today because someone and cap something on our end crapped the bed. It should be fixed. All right, okay. So, yeah, it was kind of acting up, but now it's okay. Die Hard Bok fan. Yeah, the burden is the, the rocket pack is the cool thing, isn't it? Someone sent me. Hi. Hi, don't ask me for MA buffs. I keep getting asked for them. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Someone did on stream. Oh, can I get a crit buff? It's like, not from me. <laughs> Zeon Shrimp, time to become a frube yet again. Grind begins tomorrow. Oh, right, yeah. To go shop. So I don't have it yet. Need to go shopping. That is the truth. I don't have it yet. Right, so um, I was going to give myself NT buffs, wasn't I? Yeah, I do. I need to get the usual things you get asked for. Well, if you make it to the um, the event, you're going to have, you know... You're going to do a lot of catching up very quickly if you can get to it. I'm lurking, making two rounds of cheese on toast. Nice. I love a bit of cheese on toast. Had some for supper last night, actually. I was making toast, and then while I was waiting for the toast, I went, oh, I'm going to make cheese on toast, and got the cheese out of the fridge and sliced some off. <laughs> always wanted to get a Bok 17, 18 years ago. Wasn't really old enough to understand much of AO back then. Yeah, yeah. 
it, it is one of those things. Is the 131 a shot boat, Nano? I should get it. It's probably mission reward, is it? Um, do do do. Seventy four. Sixty five skill wrangler. No, they're getting lower. Major. Team skill wrangler. Um, well, no, I think whatever it's called, it's um, you gotta farm it. It's one of those, isn't it? You know. Actually, what's that called? Google time. So if we go nanos, trader. Umbrals, they're all Shadowlands ones, I think. Or, the, no, the early ones are in the shops, aren't they? Nanodeck, that's the quest, quest line, I think. The best skills, nanite improved. I think that's the one I've got. Ineptitude is a different one. Yeah, I think it is. Skill Ranger Premium is the 131. Mission reward, mission reward. <laughs> okay. So it's a rollable nano. That that's okay. Rollable nanos are fine. Do I want moochums as well? May as well. Want to blitz myself? The maestro's gone back to shotgun and want to prepare for PDKP. Yeah. I'm not sure if the composite trade skill buff you get from the db quest stacks with it but that one gives you 200 to all trade skills basically which is nice Right. Excuse me. I mean, I can cast everything without it, but it's nice to have it. You know, just saying. Want to try and force the trade skill at 210. Could be quite poss impossible. We'll see. Um, you can do it if you IPR. I remember doing it on my trader, my first trader. I'm sure I did, and it was like running back and forth, reperking and faffing and resetting, and then having to put take all your gear off, um, IPR a couple of skills, do it, run all the way back again. So, uh, yeah. Fun times. Right, okay.
I am tempted to, to go back to trader because this sort of feels kind of slowish. There you go, with a fabulous green costume and green visor. <laughs> right, want to talk to Warden? Uh, stay in. What did we figure out it was called? Because I've been saying Warden Stains and it's not. Want to buy a molar for my keeper? Just log them off at the East Incarnator and keep checking. Usually find them. And it's almost always the East one because it's a straight run. I mean, there's a couple of times I've run there with a ice golem pattern ready to go. And yeah, <laughs> it's already like a dead one on the incarnator, you know. Now, I did have, I think, a gift from Vulpool a little while ago. One of these bags, possibly. No. Nope, not in there either. And it had trader back armor. It is more ACs, but I don't know if I want to swap it just yet. Could I even get it on though? Psychic intelligence is quite high on it. All there for 50, 12. 2100 ACs versus 1300 ACs. Hmm. I always, always a dead one on the incarnator when I have a molar myself. The trick is to find one without meaning to do it yourself. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> there is some truth to that. A couple of times I've run up there, I've got the thing, and, you know, we're all ready to go. Oh, and all of a sudden, you know, there it is. Suddenly it's there. Let's see if we can get to 20k without crashing. Yay! Not always possible, but hey. Last stream I had one rotting away, sadly. Yeah, I mean, I, I would just park the tune at the incarnator and just keep logging in and checking. Like every 15 minutes, log it, log the tune in and just check the incarnator. It sounds like a right ball lake kind of thing, but honestly, you know, you might, you might be surprised. Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll do. How are we doing on time here? Oh, due to spawn. A recruit random person stood here. Bought an overpriced pattern out of GMI and just free for all on them. I think I'll do the same on the next one. Yeah. Spread the love. That's the way to do it. When did I get the panda head? That was on Saturday at the Monsters of Ages thing. For this one the panda head and the and the dragon wings to give him on this tune. You might think I'm an MA. I thought, I'll be alright. MA will heal me. All the green should clue you in. Oh, you were at the memorial, yeah. Unfortunate clash of schedules there. I did try and send an, everyone there at the end of uh, the stream as well. But Space Quest poked me and said, What are you doing on Saturday? <laughs> oh, regular stream, I think. Right, we're doing this Monsters of Ages thing. You'll you'll have to wait and see what it is. It's like, okay. So I was like, okay then. So I could hardly refuse. Besides, he just teleported me to it. So even if I tried doing something else, um, <laughs> I don't think I'd have got much choice. Tried to get my trade of the visor from the wreck today. Kill it with my agent once for the wrong one. Instantly had multi-box company. Urgh. Thanks for team. Yo. The only reason why my agent is in the guild at Shimmera founded. Oh, right. I didn't know them in, in game, sadly, so my loss. But yeah, it's sad when someone passes and, you know, if it's someone you know. But in a game 21 years old, it's kind of inevitable, I guess. You know, there's that whole, well, you know. His in-guild name was Jawhammer. Yeah, I didn't know, didn't know them. Unfortunate, you know, my loss and all that, but no, I didn't actually know them. Don't mind PvPing with multi boxes once they go for instant raids, but a normal PF no chance. Yeah, it's a it's kind of selfish, but yeah. Another dead prisoner. Green, whatever. Don't care. Don't want the cloak. Delete item. Nah, I will. Right. It was a 213 fixer. Yeah. Like I said, didn't know them. 
so I can't add any more other than sorry to hear and, you know, sorry for the loss. Sounds a bit cliche almost, but yeah. Run away! It's the Go Flag Yourself mission. Yay! <laughs> I hate this mission. It's stupid. And you seem to get it kind of the most often. Sort of 200 plus. No idea why. Maybe it thinks you can handle it by then or something. Didn't you get the same one last stream? Yeah. <laughs> get it way too often. Don't care. The rewards are crap anyway. You know, the, the pick up rewards as you go. And yes, you can use this Omni Shop no matter what side you're on. Never quite figured that one out, but hey. Only these ones, though. You can't use any of the others. As far as I know. Chance it. Chance running to the agency. <laughs> I have come out of that grid and been killed before I've actually zoned out. So, yeah, somebody tracking and uh, grid camping using bots and other cheats. Mission complete. I'm not flagged no more. I actually had someone chase me in here on my soldier. As soon as they attacked, I hit AMS and just ran in here to hand in the mission. <laughs> they were still trying to. They were still still trying to have a pop, even even when I was inside handing it in. And of course, <laughs> as soon as you lose the flag, you can't be attacked anymore. It's quite funny. Right, what else? What am I doing? I've got Tara, but I've got to wait until Tara spawns. More questions. What was this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That. I've got to go do the beast quest. Capture the essence. Get the essence of the primal understanding mesh. One who's asked the unasked. Oh, it's the Marla mobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We will go to the Shadowlands momentarily and maybe carry on with that. Defeat... Oh, I can't even go to that anymore. That's going to have to go. <laughs> Zark and Razor. Not likely. Still got to do the pen mission for Grand Theft. I did it, didn't I? Um, a couple of streams ago, I want to say. I'm not sure. Reached the agency and died inside from dots. Don't. Yeah, it can go either way, can't it? That's the thing. How we're looking on skills. Skills are looking pretty good in places.
Oh, yeah. Quite lazy when it comes to Pen and Sheol. I kind of wish I'd saved Sheol. Because it's a lot, a lot of research. So it's well worth it later on. Now, yeah, you can get it from the Greedy Shade. So you do see, yeah, you do see it. I think you see it on GMI as well. So you can do it that way. It doesn't have a quest lock on using it. I know that. Okay, Grand Theft. Oh, try putting an N in the word. Grand Theft Humidity, GMI, yeah, they're, they're like 20 million more. But that could be someone with a 220 fully geared up um, trader who is buying it off the greedy shade for quite a bit less. JJ Legrando. Hey, Carlos. Hey, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. As always. It gives me an excuse to do a lapper while I'm doing mission in pen anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. I quite like the quest in pen. Apart from, you know, all the running. <laughs> the busy work part of it. Find all these garden, find all these uh, shrines, now run. The worst bit is the, um, I don't know if it's as bad for Omni, but you do the bit where uh, you talk to, is it Tommy Sawyer? And he says, go to the mobs at the other corner of the map. So you run all the way there and they go, ah, but before we give you the thing, go all the way back to Tommy Sawyer and pick something up for us, bring it back here, then... We'll give you the thing to run all the way back. So you're back and forth four times just to do the mission. That annoys me, that bit. Just gone to the incarnator for the molar, and I'm in luck. There you go. Told you. Even my gimpy trader gets 100 million nanos for 80 million from the shade. That's no magic. No, no, no. I'm not saying it's magic, I'm just saying that's why they're on GMI for for a bit of a markup. You know, because that's economics. <laughs> Has saved some XP. Let's give ourselves a map while we're here. No more RRFE. Alright, I think, I think want to do all the keys on the trader sometime in the future for access yeah that's it trader's the one that makes sense because you can get the highest comp lit simple as that really um i'm gonna make myself a, a drink uh i'll leave you with the intermission i've got to trim this beard i'm struggling to eat without getting tons of food in it now so <laughs> and i think when it was about there looked reasonable about six months ago i think it's just overgrown like a hedgerow now chopsticks oh yeah i could easily put chopsticks in it and, and screwdriver no it's a bit too heavy <laughs> a smaller screwdriver maybe
Right, I'm back. Three molars left on ice golem if anyone needs. Keep little kids in my beard for later. <laughs> Had to reach for a candle my little nephew played around with, burnt half my beard. Oh no! <laughs> Two years of progress gone in the blink of an eye. Oh well. Better than burnt nephew. <coughs> Yeah, this is six months growth, so it does grow quite quick, this beard. Because I look back, um, see if I can find it now. I will, I will show you. Um, just, we go far back enough, six months ago. Yeah, there you go. Six months ago. The greatest. Yes, I, I have to watch ads on my own videos as well. <laughs> we go to the live screen. This is the new camera. I, I'm, there you go. That's the last time I cut my hair and shaved the beard. <laughs> so you, you can kind of see when you compare with with now I've gotten quite shaggy it was a little while ago a few minor burns that didn't leave scars ow still sounds pretty painful though being on fire is never funny <clears throat> Level 198 then versus 216 now. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. I think I, I just got the clippers out before Christmas, put on like a half inch uh, guard on it and just did my head and my beard in, all in one go. Keep the beard, cut the hair. 
well, you would look like a Zasquatch. Well, I do. <laughs> I went from, like, crew cut, you know, like, yay long, like that, and now it's longer than that. I shouldn't know, when I was watching, you know, um, Asmon Gold. I, I never watch him do WoW, but I think he's a brilliant streamer. I think he's really entertaining, very funny guy. Very interesting opinions about things, articulates them well. Um, you know, I, I like him, you know, I like him. Um, but I couldn't give a toss about WoW, so, you know, I never, I never got into all that. But he does, um, he's got like a repository of, of edited, edited down streams on YouTube. <clears throat> and the ones I watch are the ones where he looks at the memes on his subreddit. And they, oh, they're so cruel. They really pick on him for his hairline. And they showed one where it's like the sides have gone up to sort of where this hair thing is here and, and all the way across until he's just got one bit in the middle. You know, like, it, it's, man, it's gone. Get, you know, just get rid. Um, and they're all saying, just, you know, shave your head. You'll look better than you do with a comb over, which is essentially what the guy's got now. I don't know how Asmund bald, yeah. And then he, for some reason, I, <laughs> just boggles my mind. He he took a shower on stream, like you know, he was only he was only nude from the the waist, <laughs> waist down. He had uh, underpants and tracks and pants on. <laughs> Stood in the shower, getting soaking wet, covering them in soap suds. <laughs> but then he goes and towels his hair, <laughs> and like puts his head down like that and you can see the hairline quite clearly you know um ah, it's bad man and then someone's cut you know cut it out and then put it into like a million other things as memes <laughs> and they are pretty bloody they're brutal but god they're funny Ah. I sneezed my headphones off. Go me. My beard was braided with some Nordic accessories in it. Yeah, I could, I could maybe do that. It's getting to that length now, but I don't know. I don't want something... I mean, it's already dangerously long, as in someone can get hold of it. Like, get a full handful. I don't like that. I would never, ever, not even for money, do a comb-over. People do, though. Because it, ha it doesn't happen overnight. It's gradual, so you, you brush... You, you go, oh, it looks okay this way. So you put, you know, brush your hair slightly differently and then gradually underneath that it's creeping backwards and you're combing more and more. And he's, when you see it now, it's, it's, it's just sad, man. It is just sad. What can you, you know, and it's like, he's young still, isn't he? He's only 30 or something. Excuse me. Yeah, he's only like 30, so it's a hell of a shame for him. I mean, I think mine's starting to go. I think, mate, well, it's not as thick as it used to be. But I am, I'm in my 50s now, so, you know, that's okay. You know, I am middle-aged. If it's going to go, that's when it's going to go, right? I had a good inning, innings with hair, you know? I mean, saying that, it's not exactly going, is it? So, you know. <laughs> it's not as thick here as it used to be. I could go down to like a grade one and you still couldn't see my scalp. You know, it used to be like that. 
I think it's thinned out to like normal thick thickness of hair. Something weird. So I don't know. Yeah, but the memes they come up with for the hair though are pretty funny. They turn them into mounts and other things that exist in WoW and what have you. I mean, the best example of anyone talking about that I've, I ever saw was uh, Patrick Stewart, you know, Captain Picard, uh, who who did the same thing, and he, he ended up with a full-on comb-over. Um, and, you know, it was only a, it was a friend or some... He tells the tale, he's gone to a dinner with um, a friend of his who was a judo instructor or judo Olympian or something like that. Um, and they've been saying to him for a couple of years, you know, th this thing is controlling you now, you know, the, the way you hold yourself, the way you walk, you know, and all. It, it's taken over your life, this, the covering this up. So they, they get him into the party and then they kind of go, right, and then the, he, the, the judo guy gets hold of him, he can't move, and the wife comes up with the big scissors, cuts it right off. So it's like completely shows it and they go right now live your life you know and he says you know in hindsight it was the best thing that could have happened because you just stop worrying about it he's like yep yeah, there you go it's gone <sighs> 31 with a shaved head as well Kept it going. Kept it long until a year ago and rocked a ponytail to cover up the... <laughs> yeah, well, this is what I mean. He, you know, so if, oh, if I, if I do it like this, it hides the back bit. Well, he, yeah, but th that, that's combing over, isn't it? You know, it's not always the Bobby Charlton. Uh, but, you know, you kind of, before you know where you are, you've got there. You know, and every, everyone can tell. Everyone, everyone can tell. You know, just just accept it. You know, that's that's the healthy thing to do. Is just say, well, you know, my beard now now that short again kind of hurt that. Yeah, I've gotten used to having the beard this long as well. Only thing I hate took twenty years to develop cheek beard. Oh, right, did you, like, you would one of the, it just grew around the goatee area and not much on the sides, yeah. You got a few, well, you just go with the goatee, you know. Go where it grows. Me, it just starts under my cheek bones and there you go. But, it, you know, it kind of, it, it was always like that. I think it's always been thicker around here than at the sides. But not much. It's always been thick enough at the sides to grow through. When it came out grey, you think you're grey? Mate, you're not grey. This is grey. Okay. And see the hair? Yeah? You look at a video from, like, 2015, with me on it, like one where I'm doing something with a guitar or something. Hair's jet black. <laughs> and so is the beard. <laughs> Got old all at once, I did. Hit 50 and boom. Uh, probably happened gradually and I just didn't realise. But you know what I mean? It feels like since hitting 50, it's more... Massive goatee light sides. Yeah, that's cool. That's kind of what Keanu Reeves has got. He's got one of those natural kind of lines there that just is bald and then that bit and that bit. And it just instantly forms a cool looking shape. It's Keanu Reeves is just cool anyway. I'm not completely grey, more like fatty boars. <laughs> bit salt and pepper. Well, it always goes salt and pepper first. And then eventually you run out of pepper, you know. 
It's just all grey. Since I have no more accessories in my beard due to the length, I'll get spoken to in Turkish quite often due to my beard being pitch black. Well, mine used to be. But I think my features are too kind of Eurocentric. I don't know. I've had people speak to me in um, Gaelic quite a few times. They've just assumed I'm old Irish, which I don't mind. I have to go, oh, I'm Welsh. And they go, ah, oh, oh, have one of your grandparents, maybe? Yeah, I think they were. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You look very Irish to me. You know, I get that a lot. That and blue eyes. So, I don't think you can tell the blue <laughs> in, in this light, but they are. Learn some words from friends and joke about it, yeah. Eh, no bad thing. Right, so how many more of these? Four essences. Four essences. One more of each and then the main one, I think, isn't it? Where's the dude? I, I don't know any um, old Gaelic, unfortunately. It'd be interesting to learn it. The Gaelic, the Irish speak, and the Scottish speak is actually very, very similar. The on shrimp pain pills taken for my severe carpal tunnel issue. Uh, not good. Uh, Mrs. Callus too had that, and then she got like a surgery for it. It's pretty good now. Doesn't bother her anymore, unless you know she she does a hell of a lot one day that involves bending a wrist like that, like at work or something, you know, cleaning or carrying things. Then it might sort of niggle her a bit that evening. Right, so that's the last yellow one, I think. Uh, combining the essences creates a cluster that becomes a single entity, pre presents itself as if it were a single resource. The mesh consists of five essences of insight. It's five in each, isn't it? Road works for nine years, yeah, I bet. That uh, is uh, the hard graft. I did quite a bit on building sites and stuff, but never for that long. It was always kind of, you know, once the job was done, it was finished. So only a few months at a time. It was only just general labouring when I was a kid, you know. You know those summer jobs? And a friend of mine was big into his bodybuilding at the time uh, was like come and come and do come and work on this you get paid cash in hand and blah 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 um you know and we'll, we'll bang on some muscle kind of thing and i was like oh okay trying to get the abs out of the way And the big guy, Spirit of Coercion. I drain you. Get away from the others. There you go. Now I can imagine, yeah, roadworks is, yeah, there's a lot. A lot of pressure on your joints, especially those joints. 
Some people are just, you know, they're okay with it. Most people, nah. Get this guy and we hand in. We should get some big XPs. Where's the damn mission gone? Captured the essence. Five essences, five essences, and the other one. Okay, so we're going back to. One who asks the unasked. He's up over the other side of here. I'm dropping things on the ground because you suddenly lost feeling. Oh, yeah, not good. I always kind of protected my hands and wrists um, because I was a musician and I could feel the difference after a week of working on site. I couldn't do quite as many little intricate things on the guitar until like four or five days later when the tendons sort of relaxed again and that kind of thing. So, yeah, I tried to balance it out. That said, contorting your hands and fingers on the guitar can cause a lot of injuries as well. I'm sure I, some of the twinges in my hands are, you know, from bad habits on the instrument. That my vibrato style, without without ever having heard or seen the man, is similar to BB King's. So instead of like doing this on the string, I do this, ro you know, rotatory uh, motion with with the hand. It sound it just it just sounded right when I did it, so I kept doing it, you know. Plus, it's a lot easier to control that than that for me so and then I saw BB King did it that way and went oh there you go <laughs> and then I knew who BB King was and went oh right yeah I think a lot of other people do it that way as well it's the doing this motion Right, let's see what we get. I have here the essences from the Spirit Hill. Okay, let's see what he gives me for this. I can't remember the rest of this quest. Just that I thought I could do it. Oh, this thing. Stabilization unit. Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, if you're dropping things, it's, yeah, it's time to give yourself a break, isn't it? You know. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need help with this bit. Let's get some extra bloods. Need more of that blood. Yes, I think I will be needing the help for the next step of this quest. Because you can't calm those ads there. I think you can calm them with the last minute, and that's about it. I 
and then the boss himself is pretty tough. So I don't know if anyone on the chat wants to come and kill the guy with me, for me. <laughs> A bit of both. We're awaiting surgery. Yeah, surgery's good. You do lose some strength in your hands, apparently. Not a massive amount. Depends how much they've got to cut out there, but yeah. You know. If you're doing roadworks for nine years, your hands are probably way stronger than an average person anyway. So even once they do it and you lose, say, 20% of the strength, you've still got hands stronger than most people, so... You know, in that respect, it's fine. Crap or Enforcer? Um, either or, I'd say, at this point. I'm going to meet back to the garden and go that way. Be easier. Yeah, those spirits around him just do not calm, even even with a crap. You need the only thing you can calm them with is last minute, and of course that means you've calmed one. <laughs> Going to log crap. Well, thank you very much. Have you killed him before? Yeah. On a two twenty crap, it'd be quite easy, I would think. Just send the pets in and stand back and um, and laugh. <laughs> the grip is like a newborn strong. Yeah, uh, that goes back to our ape ancestors when we'd hang on to the mother. <laughs> by the fur. Yeah, in relation to their size, the grip is an unbelievable. <laughs> Can easily hold their own weight. I know grown-ass men now can't even do. I'm going to do pull-up and they couldn't even hold on to the bar <laughs> with their own weight under them. It's like, wow. Did you never climb trees or something, you know, or anything? Lava on the new engine looks way better than the old engine. <laughs> I'm going to pull one of the ads just to see. Ruminating spirit. I'm pretty sure they will not calm. I've tried before, I think. Came on crap for somebody else and they just wouldn't calm. And they're ruminating. This thing is pathing like a good one here. Let's try. Nope. Target resisted. Some drain. No, it just won't. They're annoying. And I don't kill quick enough to deal with them. Like by the time, you know, I've calmed one and killed the, you know, or killed one, it's re another's respawn. Even if I drain all of them.
By the time I get the boss up, they'll, you know, they'll be respawning on top of me. You need a little bit more damage spike to deal with these guys. And of course the boss is quite a bit tougher. I think I've got half a dozen videos of getting to this quest on various classes and still having to kite him. Maybe blazing calm, I don't know. Oh, Blazing do, yeah, it's ruminating that will not calm. So that's with... with the drains running. Now, it's over 2k in the nano skills for calming, so... It's just that they do not calm. Some mobs just refuse to know their place. What can you do? Unyielding spirit. No, nope, he don't calm either. <laughs> Does he drain? Oh, he drains. I didn't even give myself a hot. I forgot. In all that messing around, rebuffing and chatting, I forgot to give myself a hot. <laughs> Just buffing Carlo and CEO. It's like two buffs. <laughs> well, it is for Carlo, anyways. One. Or two. Not like bloody MP and Engi. God almighty. I think Engi is the, yeah, about the longest for anything like that. R buffing pets on yourself. Be here for a week. Yeah, by far. Keeper's close second, but it's mainly the, because of the cooldown on the uh, nanos themselves. I mean, like waiting around to cast the next one, regardless of how quickly you can cast it, the cap is so high. That even with like maximum nano in it, <laughs> it still takes forever.
one's meant to have writing on it, isn't it? Rest in peace, rest in peace. Someone said there's something different about one of them. It all looks the same. Yeah, but you can only use uh, last minute once every so many minutes. Yeah, someone said the text on it's different, but they all look the same to me. Gear Cornum My Finis Requiem Eternum Donis Ellis. Well, they all do that. At Ira. Target resisted. Multi box gone might have a chance for my visor now. At Iraira. Thus far, none of them have said it. <laughs> no, we've all got the same thing when I'm clicking on them. Now, oh, that one says et ira, yeah, third line or whatever. Okay, uh, was it that one? Gear coming, uh, Requiem et Ira. Okay, here we go. Click through inventory. Yep. Right, let's pull him away a bit. Jump in any time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, jump in any time. Killer visor is it that you're after? Okay now. My ass handed to me there. Yeah, I don't think I could have soloed him. Well, your pets don't hold aggro, do they?
Fuck me. Got right hate hard on for me. Thanks a lot for the help. When you're there checking the conflagrate spirit SMG is max price at GMA. Is that from the wreck, is it? Right, I am running back to the NPC. I think. Return to the one who asks the unasked. Yes, we're going, we're running away. Bravely running away. Yeah, I don't know. Twitchy boss, I guess. Yeah, normally Carlo's like aggro magnet. <laughs> Maybe because I started first or something, I don't know. Syndicate messenger gun doesn't drop from him. Drops from the um, heckler kind of mobs, doesn't it? Vision of this on syndicate messenger gun. Oh, that vision. I'm with you. No, Syndicate Magic. Um, that drops from one of the named kind of heckler mobs. Just up from Creepy Spider, doesn't it? Drops from spirits as well. I've never seen it drop from a spirit. I've, seen, I've gotten it to drop from the heckler bosses. The conflag and the heckler guy. I can't remember which heckler it is, to be honest, but yeah, I'm sure it was only... I thought it was only him that dropped it. Oh, there you go. Spirit boss that was behind you, that quest, says, boozle me. He drops the... He can drop the syndicate as well. Vision of destruction got it for the styles. <laughs> also crit plus two. Finally on this spawn the multi box was gone. Nice. Are they no drop as well? Yeah, I thought they were. So he's he could only be have been farming it for himself. Or to order for someone? I don't know. I mean, they do. I've seen them doing that. Yeah, when you're trying to do max crit build. I'm glad you got them. I thought it only ever dropped on the one um, named mob. You know, like the nippy stiletto only drops on the one mob. And <laughs> from from the turrets in uh, Space Quest's uh, various alien invasion fun. I just hope at 11 p.m. Central Eastern Time, it's not blue again, is it? Waiting on respawns now, is it? Oh, 
Uh, put the spirit to rest. Well, me and a mate. <laughs> me and my big friends. Is this the one? Yeah, you do the messenger thing, don't you? Or do you? Oh, the essences. I think I've got one. Did I pre-farm that when I ran past one? I think I did, but I don't know if I've got it on me. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, no, it's not. It's the other. It's the one after this one. Okay. I think I know what he wants me for. It's those spirit mobs. We were trying to do it in a team or something at one point. And we're all like waiting for three to drop or two to, to drop or something. Behave, Tyndall is back. <laughs> Oh, so he is. I need all the crit I can using missile pistol left hand. Ah, right. Started to panic. I couldn't find my inferno boots on keeper. Have you not converted them to the ring? Always worth it, instead of having to take off armour. Always, always hated that about the Shadowlands. Ah, you want to be in this playfield, then you need this useless pit of kit instead of actual useful pieces of armour. <laughs> it's to annoy the snot out of me, that. So I'm glad they uh, gave us the ability to do away with them. Yeah, I can't remember which alien item. Yeah, the amount of times I, I you know, you, you know, if you if you've only just managed, you had to twink to get the armor boots or head armor. Was the pen was the worst one because you'd lose a piece of head armor. So maybe you'd spent forty five minutes getting on combined mercenary headwear or whatever, and had to use alien perks to do it. Then reset. And then you go to Penumbra and you've got to take it off again. I used to hate that. Oh, hated it. So glad they, they kind of kicked it into the ground and just said, well, you can convert that to a ring and then put all the rings together and then you've got that. There you go. One ring with a useful um, stats on it. You know, 500 nano resist and some run speed. There you go. <laughs> so much better. Nearly broke my dock with the blue hold hell at bay. Forgot the combined version needed 300 event. You should get that on trickle down, shouldn't you? Unless you're lowish level. Oh. 
Not even sure where venturing is now. I remember the early game discussions about what <laughs> venturing actually did. It was like, well, almost nothing. I went into Pan thing at 201 thinking, I'll put it on with the trader once they zone <laughs> 30 sigh off. No! <laughs> yeah, general buff isn't going to fix that. Where's my mob? My mob has vanished into the ground. You son of a bitch. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, he fell about here, didn't he? So hang on. Get far enough away. Okay, you've zoned out. Find the corpse now, running back. Nope, completely bloody vanished. Urgh. It's in the ground somewhere. Yeah, sometimes they drop so far into the ground you just you can't click them. Where is the panda mask from? Uh, usually from Halloween, but I got it a little early because there was a um, bunch of monster. We on Saturday, um, Arc Space Quest did an event called um, Monsters of Ages. And it dropped there from the uh, Uncle Pumpkin Heads. But yeah, Halloween, you can normally get it. I don't think it normally drops any other time of the year. Yeah, and I'm just obviously wearing that in social. Happy Panda Mask. So if you're at any event and the pumpkin heads uh, spawn, they can drop it. Also at Halloween you get the um, Naughty Children mission. In U-Turn Forest. And you can drop in that as well. I wait for the event called Kill Doctors from Sheol and Ergos. What? Yeah, the Reaper does as well. I thought that was another one in the ground, but no. Tiny bit of his toe was sticking out. For the revenge. The Reaper stuff, maybe. There's one blue cloak that only drops from one mob, as far as I know, unless um, an arc spawns it. I think they can spawn it because it's considered a social item. Or they can add it to loot on any, on any generic mob or something. Yes, my drop is playing hard to get. Because of course it is. Should have pre-farmed it. I think there's another clutch of these elsewhere, but usually it's these that I come to.
Uh, uh, uh. Trying to think where else I've seen those mobs, but I can't think now. Relentless spirits. They're here, and then there's one other location, I think. Uh, let's try Google for this quest. Show you what I'm looking at. Oh, respawn. Come down here, I'm not having you in the ground again. Holy, just unequipped my low light on the trader. Don't quite have the inits for it yet. Yeah, there's a lot of um, negative init on that. If you can get the init up there, it's worth it, but yeah, it is a big neg. Low light's great because it's tradable, but it's easier to get on um, the alien version. It's no better but a bit easier. Right, okay. Go back to that web page. Uh, Spirit's Quest. I think this is the one. Yeah. Two places, Burning Marshes, and then another one. Where's the other spot? Well, it's over by Frontier. Okay. IPing trade skill for the PDKP anyway, so I might as well. Yeah, I think, I think maybe I did that. I didn't. I never put on the crit scope though. I mean, I've used that scope on a lot of different tunes, but usually it's something like an MA or something. I usually don't go for a crit build. I know a lot of people like them and, you know, that's cool. I just like solid base damage. <laughs> I don't know. I remember when everything was crit and everyone was using shotguns like Ithacas and Cruts. Hey, Restless Spirit. Or oh, Relentless Spirit, yeah. Yeah, and that's it. Mess around with the different, try a few different builds out, find the one you like. You can always change your mind and come back to a different one. I would say there's a lot more of them here with massive social aggro. I think these are higher level as well. I'm sure the other ones were green and these are kind of orangey to me at, what am I, 212. I'm definitely missing that hack and quack. <laughs> So 
surprised I forgot to do it, but hey. It happens. Yeah, that's always the way. Like, my main advy was pistol when I started him. Then... Went melee for about 13, 14 years. <laughs> and then went back to pistol again. Mainly because the BBI 1000 came out. And I went, oh, well, you, yeah, come on. <laughs> but it was melee up until that point. And that was Mahalik going, you want to convert him to pistol. <laughs> and because Mahalik says so. Yeah, these are definitely a bit more work to kill than the other ones. Pistol Adwi looks weird when morphed. Yeah, well, I don't really play Adwi anymore. They kind of killed Ad Adwi's off with, five, you know, in 2015. Tigers spitting mobs to death, yeah. Used to be weird bugs with that as well. Like the tiger, like that if you had a, a certain type of helmet on it would poke out of the front of the mouth of the um of the of the tiger the saber tooth <laughs> so it was like you'd been swallowed and it was just your head poking out of its mouth <laughs> kind of weird Yay! Spirit of whatever. Yep. Okay. Back to the other Yato. <laughs> Eat vegans. <laughs> That's not nice. I've seen some pretty funny pet names and such. Someone named their character Amber Turd. <laughs> that was funny. That which reminds me, I want to check the UK news. Been, been halfway watching the news today. UK politics is being hilarious at the moment. Lots and lots of, um, what's the German word? Schadenfreuden or something like that. <laughs> Mihalik, I'm always right, except when I'm wrong. <laughs> How do you say, is it Schaden, Schadenfreude? Yeah, brilliant word. We don't have a word for it in, in English, but yeah.
Yeah, the, the current um, Prime Minister is being told by his own party that he needs to quit. Like, and like 30 odd of them have all quit. <laughs> it's when you're so petty you, you even have a word for it. No, it's not. I mean, seeing seeing someone who deserves it suffer because of, of and suffer because of who and what they are and what they've done is that's not being petty you know we, we go well that's poetic justice you know and and that kind of, I'm going the wrong way uh, that kind of thing um, and that's what it is to me schadenfreude because you know he's been a well he's been a cock really been a bit of a dick <laughs> keeps lying keeps getting found out he's been lying uh, promises oh well I shouldn't have done that and obviously going forward it, that won't be happening again everyone okay then and he just does it again and then gets caught out again and then this time it's like nah it's done mate yeah it's not petty it's a, it's an emotion you you experience but just not very often because it's not every I mean we go we'll say like you can enjoy seeing someone get their comeuppance. You know, you've, you've heard that one? Is that, maybe that's just a British one? When someone gets their comeuppance. You know, when, when the bully finally, you know, meets a bigger kid. <laughs> Something like that, you know? It's the it's the straw on the camel's back, I think, Mahalik. It's the straw on the camel's back. All the, all the guys trying to cl claim the moral high ground today, and oh well, I'm resigning. And, well, why didn't you do that six months ago? You knew what he was then. And it's it's because they don't want to give up the the power they've got. That's why. Are you in Ireland or Scotland? I am in Wales. All three of which are, one, are different countries, but also the same country. United Kingdom. England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Although Scotland would like to do one. And <laughs> the forgotten fourth country. Yeah. Nobody remembers Wales. Okay, this bit I've already got, I think. If I can remember the bag. There it is. I think, is it this he wants next? Oh, the snake eye, yeah. I did farm it. Just don't know which bag it's in. It's in one of them. Yep, there we go. Pre-farm for the win. No, he was exactly the same when he was when he was a journalist. He was exactly the same in school. He was exactly the same when he was the mayor of London, and he's been exactly the same as foreign secretary, and he's been exactly the same as the prime minister. So, you know, he's the kind of guy who could lose his own seat like lose a vote in his own constituency and still insist on being prime minister and he wouldn't be able to because at that point it's like you know no you're done kill the messenger right so it's the messenger bit next nice train choo choo yeah, Wales, that forgotten fourth country. Yeah, we don't. It's like we don't even get. Nobody takes any notice of Wales. I blame the Mid Walians. They they sound too non-committal. Oh well, let's also. <laughs> yeah, always surprises people to discover that Wales is in fact a country. It's, it's sort of you know. You go, where are you from? Oh, I live in Wales. Oh, is that 
in England. And you're like, no, <laughs> it's Wales. No, I, I am a Welsh person. Yeah, with the right pedigree. Well, he was born, born into a billionaire's family, so, you know, went to Eton, was known for doing things in the Bullington Club, like setting fire to 50 pound notes in front of beggars just to laugh at them. You know, so uh, <laughs> people at their absolute lowest and most vulnerable. And as a kid took great joy in you know, it's, uh, he's not a nice person. Let's put it that way. And he's a blatant liar. And he's been caught lying too many times, I think, now. His own, his own ministers are now quitting or telling, you know, and, and all of them are saying, you need to go. <laughs> you need to go. And he, he just won't have it. He's never felt like the rules etc should apply to him because he's Boris and therefore the rules don't apply to him because they never have oh because he's full of bluster and and, uh, and sold everybody on I'll I'll get bloody Brexit done and blah 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 blah, blah. and then Murdoch and the right wing press kind of uh, did a massive smear campaign for like two years solid every day um, about the opposition leader rather than talking up the other side they kept talking down the opponent you know so it's an animal it doesn't have a it doesn't have a H in it it's actually cum it's actually Cymru so you know the English word for where I live is Wales the word for where I live is Cymru. <laughs> courier lizard. Prepare to die. Uh, two courier lizards. No. Nope. People are that stupid, yeah. Whales like the fish. <laughs> it's not a fish. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's, he's like most of the, um, the inverted commas ruling classes. You know, him and his chums are like real people, and everyone else is just you know the poor, etc. They're they're just not the same thing. They're not. You know, like he's a human being and, and the others are plebeians and don't matter. Yeah, basically a similar sort of thing, yeah. And he wasn't, I mean, he, uh, he won one election. And it was all on this one issue. Not on, not on their economic policies, not on their social policies, not, you know, none of that. No. All on the one issue. Um, and it was like suddenly people forgot. He was popular because he kind of represented or conveyed, you know, the British bulldog thing. And people, people lapped it up. They thought it was for real. It's not. Not with him. He's only, you know, he's the sort of person that when he's lying to your face, thinks that you won't understand that he's lying to you. He, do, he just doesn't think other people are real. And he can't conceive that other people are, you know, quite possibly smarter than him and can see straight through him. He, he can't conceive of that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of game over now. He'll, he'll just carry on until he's, he's literally forced out. 
They look the same. They don't. My younger cousin can't tell apart Trump from Johnson. They're quite distinctly different. And Boris Johnson was a political problem when Donald Trump was a reality TV star. You know. Are you talking about Boris or Trump? I don't like either of them, to be honest. I don't like liars. I don't like narcissists. So, you know, sorry. But that's the problem. As soon as somebody wants to be the boss of everything, you, you got to wonder why, what kind of person wants that. You know. If it's not on social media, well, yeah, it's more the older generation that think or thought that Boris was something. And, you know, even though it was a matter of public record what he'd done and said. They just didn't want to believe it. And the way he answers questions is, um, if, if he doesn't want to answer a question, he'll go, well, yes, I mean, <laughs> Great Britain. He just blusters his way through it. And some people, it actually fools them, you know, which is chronically sad. I mean, you get people like... Um, John Major, who didn't want to be Prime Minister but was and was actually quite a good Prime Minister. Right, I go and see Thingy now, don't I? Me go see Eddie. Eddie Salaman. Yeah, but it's like the kind of people that go on X Factor and American Idol, a lot of them have no real interest. Um, in music, they just want to be famous. They want to be rich and they want to be famous. That's what they want. And that's okay. I'm not I'm not knocking anyone for wanting that. But don't don't pretend you know like you're there for anything else. Cause you're not. Yeah, and the money for winning. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing wrong with that, but don't don't lie about it. Do you have 146 Umbral? No, and I need to get them. I don't, sorry. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, because I keep getting asked for things I haven't got. <laughs> You know, the people that want to be musicians just go about being musicians and singers. They don't go on those contests, really. Very rarely that actually ever happens. Nope, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> I just went completely the wrong way. Too many distractions. Where's Eddie? Eddie! One four seven is locked at two seventeen. Yeah, I thought so. Who are you? What do you do? Me seller guy. Do you have the crypto variable deductive algorithm? Yep, got one of them. <laughs> yeah, it, all Boris has been is a populist leader and they're never a good thing. Even if they seem it, they never actually are. They're always a problem further down the line, do you know what I mean? Right, we've got the things, and we're going to go back to the Yotto. We get the two, give the tool to, okay. 
Can't remember if I used the tool first. Haven't had a good pastrami. I found a Jewish supermarket near me. Holy shit, their pastrami is good. Haven't had a good pastrami outside the US ever before. It is sort of that kind of thing, isn't it? You know, if you go to Shepherd's Bush in London, you will 100% get a good pastrami. <laughs> oh, it's very Jewish, that area. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Used to get the best ice cream in Rill was, and milkshakes was from, and still is apparently, from a little mom and pop type shop. A little privately owned place called Sidoli's. They haven't changed how it's decorated since the 1950s, but everything's kind of new and clean and, and, you know, really nice and lovely. The people working there, they're all in shirt tie and, and like a white, like a lab coat almost, but that's what they used to wear, you know, as shopkeepers. If you go back to you know, even early 60s movies and stuff like, when was Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, the guy behind the counter was wearing that sort of work overall type jacket. Maybe his was brown, not white, but yeah, they always have them and the milkshakes are just amazing. And you just can't beat them, you really can't. Right, pew, taking the beacon. Back through sorrow. Now, someone called Toilet Milk. Not sure about that name. Uh, would like... <laughs> With like a 146 wrangle. <laughs> yeah, you can get a lot of good food in the UK because it's quite multicultural, especially in bigger cities and places. You ask Londis what a good curry, you know, down Brick Lane is, and it's like, yeah, you go down Brick Lane in London, my God, every other curry house is just amazing. You know, there's like grandpa in the back or whatever going, no, nope, bit more of that, bit more of this, you know, just, yeah, <laughs> it's just really, really good. Lulzia, welcome to the stream, good to see you. Curry's made with mango, which is me allegiant to pineapple, don't want to die. No, yeah, I'm not keen on pineapple. I don't think I'm allergic to it, but I, I've never liked it. Pineapple juice as well, not keen. Pineapple is not a normal ingredient in a curry, that's like, um... I don't know, it's, it's what happens to, like, a curry dish in another country gets other stuff added to it. Conan Exile, welcome to the stream. You straight up ghosted toilet milk. Shaking my head. I did not ghost toilet milk. I haven't got the wrangle he wants and I'm not high enough level to cast it. That's not ghosting him. Look. Hi, do you have the 146 umbral? No, I don't. Sorry. Are you able to cast it? Could buy for you if you were. Um, not yet. I'm just leveling this tune. It's got a 117 lock on it. I can't do anything about it, Cyber Exile. <laughs> I know I'm making a joke. Right, okay. I'm not mean to people. If he's still stuck and, and like, I'm still on, I'll say, hang on, my other trader can do it for you. You know, I'm not the only player in the game. He'll get that wrangle, you watch, he'll get it. There's a lot of trade. I mean, how many traders do you see? It's not like nobody plays trader, is it? Uh, 
the bummer of it is is I can't give it to myself on this tune for my other tune because it's like you got to be in team and all that could wait for me I'm just 15 levels off yeah I don't need it though that's the thing uh, I found the program you need in order to dis decode the device okay there's the tool Get hold of encrypted message. Which we grabbed straight away, so we now handle it, handle it, hand it in. There we go. I can't believe how long, a few weeks ago, to realise how much fun Trader was to play. <laughs> yeah, they are good. They're quite busy, so it's not going to suit everybody. Some people think Keeper's boring, but I really like Keeper, especially for streams because you kind of like you can you can kind of afk a lot of stuff so you know a bit slow without crit gear yeah yeah and you you're constantly recasting things so yeah right it's 10 to 10 and i need to go because my lad's gone to bed um he's enrolled at the military prep pre uh god Melody Preparation College, so he's up early every day. So am I, but he needs to be, you know, because they do a lot of physical training as well as, you know, pen and paper stuff. So, yeah, he's trying to get asleep, so. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Right, let's have a quick look. Is anybody else streaming Anarchy Online at the moment? Let's take a look. Streaming Anarchy Online at the moment, let's... Forgot to mute. Me, Newland City Waste Management, not really gonna dump you guys on that because there's no one there, really. Anybody got a suggestion? Lol's here, I always show up late to the stream. <laughs> yeah, I can't cover everybody's time zone, unfortunately. I'd like to, but mm, you can't, can you? Why does it jump back to my channel? Has anyone got a channel they want to recommend or anything? Newland City Waste Management. But there's no, it's just like... I mean, it's cool, but really? It's just a cam... Mr. Happy 127. Okay, let's go and have a, let's have a look at that. Mr. Happy 1227. What's the one they streaming? Don't know, I've got an audible ad. Because of course I have. Monster Hunter Rise, Mr. Happy, Capcom Creators. He doesn't look like he needs anybody raiding his stream, but... Okay, you suggested it, so I'll go with it. Okay, now a Kit Kat advert. Good God. Right, there we go. Early. Yeah, he's a proper streamer, isn't he? Right, okay. Oh, oh wait, I was watching Tech Tangents set up a bunch of old computers but i think he's about to wrap up as well oh right okay yeah we'll go raid the guy then channel has follower or subscriber only chat oh it's okay we go raid monster hunter oh, i don't i don't like monster hunter but hey there you go right we go raid him so thank you all for coming along to the stream thank you for the resubs and the new follows and i will see you all on friday maybe see you tomorrow but most likely definitely friday okay folks bye for now